good evening welcome to dot programming dot com uh, today I'm talking about how to bind grid view to data in a template control in ESP.NET so first of all add a new item that is web form now basically bind the grid view control uh, in a different ways using the data container using the well method and many modes so today I'm talking about data in a template control okay mm, that means uh, that I uh, can uh, that I that I want to say that how to customize the grid view actually so I have a SQL data source now configure the data source because simply bind this uh, data with the SQL data source but the template is designed by me or you can say the customization of templates connecting data uh, between front end to back end is similar in the previous video tutorials test it again sorry test it this is the similar to the uh, previous video tutorials but to um, in this video tutorial I have customized the grid view that is auto generated column equals to false now create a co some columns that is the first columns that is columns oops columns inside the column select ASP template field also set If you want to set the header text then inside the template field the single template field it means you have to de uh, define the first column template field means define the first uh, define the columns okay inside the item template you place a table control that is because the item template it display controls as well as text over the browser so item template I have a table 3 by 3 table 3 rows and 3 tables in the S in the table I have some columns In the register table I have column ID username password and email so define ID username inside the item template insert row below because I have four columns so design four row for the four columns so email now take four level controls from a standard tab that is the first level copy this the property change the text that is 
empty now copy this and paste paste and paste okay in the source view you have to see that that is the label one change the ID of the label one is label ID and bind the text with the database column so text equals to single quotation inside the embedded core block with the hash that is evil method to bind uh, data from database table Sp specify the name of the column here ID is the name of the column similarly in the for uh, similarly with the four labels so label name or you can say label username label u name well that is username remember it remember uh, that username inside the sol server explorer is inside the table mm, I mean to say the name of the column is matched with the parameter of the evil okay so text single quotation embedded code block hash evil that is password small p a double s w r d password match with table column name copy this and paste inside the email that is change the password with the email small e email okay now change the label ID of the email is email label email text okay that's fine that is save this now inside the source view pass the data source ID to the grid view that is table inside the item template and table having with the uh, four controls that is four label and inside the rows or cells remember it uh, inside the grid view first to define the columns template field item template so pass the data source ID property equals to SQL data source 1 that is SQL data source 1 copy this and paste inside yeah save this and right click in browser take some times yeah the format is well format ID username password and email that is the first row we get the first record and that is the second record first tuple second tuple I have two tuple inside that table so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial